super good. Wow. I'm feeling myself. I don't know what it is. Wow. The glow prevailed. Someone who's not been wearing makeup, she still got it, folks. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see. If you are new, welcome to my channel. If you are returning, welcome back. The spring summer season is coming. And if you have been on TikTok as much as I have, you will know that drugstore makeup is absolutely taking over the makeup scene. I myself love my luxury products, but if I can find something that is gonna be a little nicer on my wallet that I can get at my local shopper's drug mart around the corner from my house, I'm gonna put in the time and I'm gonna check it out. So if you can already tell by the title of this video, I'm gonna be running through a nice fresh spring makeup routine using products from the drugstore, both favorites as well as some new bits inspired by TikTok and some of my favorite beauty gurus. As always, if you guys like what you see, please hit that like button and also don't forget to smash that subscribe button. I post videos every other Friday, so if you do wanna be notified, turn on those post notification bells. All right, are you guys ready? Let's get into it. Okay, so we are going to start off with primer. I've already washed and moisturized my face. This is called the Versed Dew Point Moisturizing Gel Cream. Um, this actually has aloe leaf juice and green tea extract to help with redness, which I have a lot, especially on my cheeks. This is what it looks like. And I used this all over the face. So I'm gonna use a little bit of a mixture combination of my two favorite drugstore primers. It is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty. Honestly, tried and true. I have like four of them in my closet because I just can't get enough of this stuff. And the Marshmallow Primer. I knew when this came out that I had to try it. People were raving about it. it helps with moisture all day long, even though you're gonna be wearing a full face of makeup. It's supposed to help keep everything nice and smooth on the face. So definitely wanted to try this out. Like, look how much I have left of this stuff. Barely anything. Little bit goes a long way with this product. Why does my camera look like it's crooked? Probably because it was a little crooked. <laughs> and then we're gonna go in with the NYX. This one also spreads pretty well. Sometimes I like using more than one primer, depending on what type of primer I'm using. I use like the putty primer, and then I'll use something that's a little bit more luminous to go under foundation to just create a little bit more of that glow from within look. Spring to summer, I love doing. I actually like doing it all year long. Even in the winter, I like having a little bit of a glow. We're gonna definitely be doing a lot more of a dewy look today. NYX is really taking over in this video. Wow, okay, so I'm gonna be tag teaming it. I'm going to be doing a look that's every day, but also can be transitioned into a night look for the spring to summer season. I'm going to be using both NYX Born to Glow nat neutrally, <laughs> Naturally Radiant Foundation right here in the color vanilla. And then I'm also going to be combining it with the Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil, it's golden caramel. I have a little bit of a fake tan on still, so this is more of my transition color and this is a little bit more of my summer color, so I'm hoping combined it'll create a color as close to where my skin's at right now. I think I'm gonna use both a beauty blender as well as a brush? I'm not sure yet. Let me figure that out. <laughs> Just on my finger, dot it on. I want them to be more combined rather than just layering them on top of each other. So I'm going to put them at the same time while blending this Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. And we're going to just start. actually see still some of the tan in my hairline which I hate when that happens kind of is inevitable when fake tanning I don't know if it's just because I'm looking in the viewfinder but this looks really really nice wow okay just a tad just here just because this is where I would want to normally kind of cover up 
the discoloration I have, but still we're gonna keep this light. This is every day. Even if you're working in an office, or something similar to that. We still want to keep it natural. We're obviously going to be putting on cell concealer, setting powders, that kind of stuff. So we don't actually need as much help on the skin department, but you can definitely go in just with this Born to Glow foundation on its own. I've done it and it looks really amazing. This is the first time I'm trying it out with Bear With Me Skin Veil and I am actually obsessed with it. Little tidbit for you, the Bear With Me Skin Veil is actually, I think, what I would consider the most perfect dupe for the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. So uh, keep that in mind when you guys are purchasing your products this spring and summer. And our skin is looking super, super fresh, super radiant, honestly super flawless. And now we're gonna move on to concealer. I am no stranger to the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. However, I did actually want to try out the Hydrating Camo Concealer as obviously we get into these transitional you know seasons spring especially in somewhere like canada is super super rough on the skin so i really like sticking with hydrating products as a whole during this time because my skin's just doing something super super funky so i'm going to be using this color right here it's honestly pretty light even though i'm super fair neutral to warm tone is where i tend to stick now this is a little bit more of a pinky tone, however, it seems to work really, really well under my eyes to keep that brightness. So I'm actually gonna be using this for under my eyes and in my T-zone. For all other blemishes on the skin that I would like to conceal, I'm going to be using the second part of the Born to Glow collection from NYX, and I'm gonna be using this concealer right here. Oh, this is in the color Vanilla as well. Wow, I'm a fan. Super good, wow. Okay, and then like I said, going in with the Born to Glow and concealing everything else I need to conceal. I've been using and obsessed with the Rimmel Stay Matte, I wanna say for the last three to four years. However, a girlfriend has turned me on to a new powder, which I'm actually pretty happy with. Um, I haven't worn it out for a long period of time, but when I've been using it for the little events that I've had, I wanna say in the past month or so, I've actually been really, really liking it. So this is the Fit Me powder by Maybelline right over here. I use the color Fair Light. We're gonna use this to set under the eyes to the T-zone, basically anywhere we get oily or that we already put the concealer on just going to use this Morphe Y11 brush. It's super sparse, but it still packs in pretty nicely under the eyes. So we're gonna just take that, take off the excess, and we're gonna start patting into the eyes. Now, I think the glow prevails. This is really, like, if you can see this sheen, I'm still having on my forehead, the sheen I'm still having on my cheekbones. This is a really good sign that this foundation tinted moisturizer combination is doing exactly what I want it to do. Okay, I'm really happy with that. Now we're gonna move on to brows and bronzer. I have just gotten my brows retouched up. If you are new, I actually have my eyebrows microbladed. I had a touch up done a week back, so they're all nicely healed. I actually went a little bit thicker. They're a little bit darker. I'm honestly such a fan. So I don't really have much to do for my brows, but all I'm going to be using is this Essence Make Me Brow. If you are looking for something affordable, honestly, I'm not even gonna call this affordable. If you're looking for something cheap that is going to get the job done, this right here is your product. This is $3. I'm pretty picky, I'd say, with my brow gel. Less of a gel that's going to give you hold, more of a gel that is going to give you color and fill in your brows. So if you're just trying to fill in some sparse areas, this is gonna be great. If you're trying to keep your brows in place, I'd probably try using a different product. 
So for the bronzer, I've seen this on TikTok and I actually realized I already had this. It is the baked bronzer. I have the color Dolce. This is one I really, really love when I don't have too much color to my face. I like how it also has a little bit of a sheen gold tint going on. So again, we're sticking with having that really glowy overall skin literally everywhere. So I'm gonna take it on my Morphe R2 brush and we're gonna just start faux contouring the face. Yeah, so this looks so pretty. I'm very much a fan of that. And we're gonna blend this obviously into the hairline. For someone who has not been wearing makeup, she still got it, folks. For the blush that we're going to be using, this is a new type of dupe. This is the Quo Featherweight Cream Blush. This is, if you can't already kind of tell by the packaging itself, is pretty much an exact dupe for the Glossier Cloud Paint. Now, I know that these ones are pretty watery in the good way where it's not too much pigmentation that it's really hard to blend. This I've heard is very pigmented and I tried it on my clean skin and it was a little bit of a disaster. So we're going to be very sparing and I think I'm going to use my fingers. I'm gonna try doing one side using my fingers, one side I'm gonna try using a blush. I'm gonna literally use, see this little stuff that just come, came out of the top right here? That is what I'm literally gonna be using to apply this. I found some of them tend to take the product underneath off. I found that unfortunately with the Rare Beauty blush, which I, it sucked because I really wanted to love it. Cute, okay, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it is lifting a little bit. It's really, really difficult to find one that's not gonna take the product underneath off. And I, do, I don't know why that is. Let me, let me try fixing it, give me a second. I don't know if you can see right over here. Like it looks a little raw. Like it did in fact take off the makeup that I had there. I don't know if I'm making it up, but I feel like I did. Am I, like, am I going crazy? Maybe I should try using a beauty blender. I think that's a little bit better. I don't know how I'm feeling about this. I'll be right back, give me a sec. I fixed it up. What I did was I added a pretty significant amount and then I just used a little bit more of my skin veil just to soften it up. to kind of take away that breakup I was finding. I put some on my nose as well as the top of my forehead to create that really sun-kissed look that honestly all year long I really, really like, but I tend to go a little more full force during the summertime. I'm gonna go in with my first layer. This is the NYX Matte Finish Mini. I know that I want to keep it glowy. This unfortunately is the only drugstore setting spray that I have with me at the moment. And if I was going for a more matte look, this is definitely one of my favorites. I'm feeling myself. I don't know what it is. I'm actually gonna go with this point at my highlighter. We're not gonna be doing anything too crazy to the eyes. Going in with the Maybelline Master Chrome. This is in the color Molten Gold end of story period it's actually fantastic I watched Shay Mitchell do this in her tutorial years ago like I, can't, I just can't do it any other way so I'm gonna take a nice amount we're gonna glow to the gods today I'm going to take it from my brow and we're gonna just do a half little C shape all the way around and we're gonna put a little bit on the tip of the nose I don't do too much of the bridge anymore. It a little bit too much attention to the bridge of my nose, which I try to draw attention away from with contour. Um, but we're gonna go in with a little bit of an eye look. Not too much, pretty simple, just to keep a really neutral bronzy look that I love to do. So I'm actually gonna be going back in with my Milani baked brush and a nice fluffy brush and we're just gonna smoke out our eyes a little bit. Jaclyn Hill JH33. It's just a nice little blending brush and we are going to blend the crease. I'm honestly going to put this both on the lid as well as blending it out in the crease a little bit just to create a little bit of warmth but keeping it super neutral, super natural, super fresh looking. <laughs> 
Okay, we're gonna keep the ball rolling here. We're gonna be going on to eyeliner using one of the products I've probably been using the absolute longest. I used to be a competitive dancer, so I've been wearing this eyeliner since I was probably eight years old. This is the eyeliner I learned to do eyeliner on. Um, definitely looks different from how it did back in the day, but we're gonna be using the L'Oreal Paris Carbon Black Intense Liner. This is what this looks like now, this packaging. It is a felt tip liner. It is not waterproof, but I'll say as far as non-waterproof drugstore liners go, this is one that is super easy to use. And we're gonna be doing a super thin, light, natural wing on the end of this eye look. have to say, that was actually so easy. I definitely remember why I like using that liner. All right, awesome. We're gonna go in with mascara. If you've been living honestly under a rock, you probably know the Sky High Mascara. This product is new-ish, probably one of my ma favorite mascaras I've ever used, period. I think mascara is one of those things that if you find a good one, it doesn't matter if it's brand named or not, don't bother spending $45 on a mascara. It's truly one of those products that I don't think is worth the money if you can find a good, cheap alternative. If you are a nude lip enthusiast, this combo is going to be your absolute jam. So we are bringing it back with NYX because I swear to God, they, they're they killing the game. You know, they're professional quality makeup at a drugstore price. So I'm gonna be going in with the NYX Glide On, Slide On, Stay On Waterproof color lip liner. It's a super long, unnecessary name. And the color is Nude Suede Shoes. And for the gloss, we're gonna be doing a gloss rather than a lipstick, but this is super, super pigmented. I've already worn it. This is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. This is also a super amazing gloss. It actually has hydrolonic acid in it. Okay, we're gonna go back in one last time with a spray. Gotta fan it out. All right guys, so here is the final look. It looks absolutely fantastic. The fact that I was able to accomplish a look like this that looks like close to perfect in my eyes in terms of I was able to get a look like this using drugstore products is absolutely wild. It just proves the fact that sometimes the price tag doesn't mean that the product is always gonna be worth it. So trying these things out for yourself, especially if it is a lower ticketed price can only help you weed out what's worth it from what's not worth it, both in designer brands as well as drugstore products. As always, I will link everything I have used in this video down below for you guys to check it out. I think that's all I have for you right now, but I will see you guys on the next one. Later, lovelies. She's a Mona Lisa.